old Jody Rock admitted she burned her child. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello, I'm LRJ. Today you're going to watch this news clip that's going to break your heart. How a sick, stupid, ignorant mother abused her child from its entire point of existence. It is a shame how so many women don't mind laying down, getting pound with dicks. And they don't mind, you know, playing the little ghetto games. But then as soon as the child is born, they don't want it. They want to burn it. They want to slap it. They want to punch it. Every day on the news, we see the same kind of stories. I want you today, as you listen and watch this news clip, I want you to understand how that child felt. Well, doctors say they discovered three fractures as well as burns to the baby's legs, arms, and private parts. It's all outlined in this affidavit for arrest. Investigators tell me that abuse carried on for months before the toddler was even taken to the hospital. This is the little boy doctors alerted authorities to last Thursday. Court records reveal disturbing details. The investigator writes, This child had suffered several bone fractures and burns to the groins and genital area. These bone fractures were in varying stages of healing from about 12 weeks prior to the present. I think once the heart goes out for any, any children. Douglas Dry, assistant district attorney in Cherokee County, says far too often these cries go unheard, especially ones like this little boy who for weeks suffered through severe Severe pain. The investigator goes on to say, I then observed IG's shoulder. It was slack and had an obvious deformity that was impossible not to notice. The child visually appeared to be in agony. The uh, heart does go out for any of these children. That's our job is to try to protect them as best we can. They started with removing the child from the home after the mother, 19-year-old Jody Rock, admitted she burned her child, telling investigators she was straightening her hair and then she touched her hand to the iron. She then said she took and closed the iron on the child's private parts. As human beings, we all our most vulnerable people are children. Dry told me more people need to speak up. He believes someone saw signs of abuse well before that child reached the hospital.